Hello everybody, Darko2012 here with Global Government News, and I am reading an article titled Blackberry Has Spyware Risk 2, researchers say. And this was posted uh, February 8th, I'm sorry, February 7th, 2010. And yes, this is just another gadget that will uh, track your um, track uh, your habits and what you're doing. And um, I've made this case before as far as all the technology that gets filtered through the military industrial complex um, is that's exactly what it is. It's being filtered. So all of our money that comes from taxes goes to researchers, universities. Um, who fund this research for technology and then it gets uh, and then it goes to the uh, New World Order companies like Microsoft and um, and all the other goodies like Google and that so uh, yeah you know cell phones they track all that stuff it could track you you can tap in and uh, listen to your conversation when they want to and uh, this is what it's for and like Facebook and Twitter and they're all made so that you voluntarily give up your information, your location, your habits. It's uh, it's like I, I like to put it. It's I like to refer to it as passive, voluntarily, um, um, get, you know, intelligence gathering. Where your citizens, if you live under a dictatorship, a scienti scientific dictatorship, instead of just um, hardcore communist, Stalinist uh, type of you know, um, extracting intelligence from your citizens, right, to keep them oppressed and and whatnot. You just vol you make it so that it's nice and and fun and and user friendly and and it's got the nice corporate Illuminati logo on it, right? That's their little stamp of approval coming from the military industrial complex, right? So, um, you know, here's for you, and they make sure that whatever technology does trickle down after it's been used for defense purposes uh, to when it goes to the quote consumer that is totally trackable traceable and uh, poses no threat to their agenda so here we go we've heard a lot about security issues with the iPhone but the Blackberry isn't immune to threats of malicious apps Tyler Shields a senior researcher at the uh, Veracode Research Lab has written a piece of spyware that has allowed me to shoot an SMS command to his phone and have his uh, contact list forwarded to my email address in a demonstration. With another short text command, I was able to get his BlackBerry to email me an SMS messages he sends. And if I had wanted and he had allowed me, I could have seen a log of all of his calls, monitored his inbound text messages, tracked his location in real time, based on the GPS global positioning system which was of course brought to you by the Defense Department in his device and turned his microphone on to listen to conversations in the room and record them much like the cell phone that I was just talking about and also like I said and if he wanted and he had allowed me voluntarily voluntarily passively um, per giving your information giving providing intelligence agencies with intelligence right on potential threats to their establishment it is uh it sounds crazy and everything but this is how my mind operates so bear with me it's trivial to write this type of code using the mobile provider's own api application programming interface they provide to any developer shield said in an interview in advance of his talk on the spyware scheduled for the shmoo com security show on sunday he calls his program uh, TXSBB spy and is releasing the source code but not an ex uh, executable version of it. My goal is to show how easy it is to create mobile spyware, he said. TXSBBS spy can take data from the phone both in real time and in snapshots and send it off via SMS or email to any web server or TCP or UDP network connections, Shield said. 
While I was able to control the spyware using text messages sent from uh, my mobile phone, the spyware had to be first installed on his BlackBerry for the snooping to work. This can be done by sending the target victim an email or text with a link to a web page where the spyware is uh, surreptitiously installed. Um, again, voluntarily, right? Or it can be hidden inside a legitimate uh, looking app downloaded from the App Store. The risks are similar to those posed by the uh, Swiss researcher Nicholas uh, Seriot in his iPhone spyware demo at the Black Hat DC Security Conference on Wednesday. It says that these types of behaviors we're demonstrating will be universal across all mobile platforms. The BlackBerry platform has a significant number of security mechanisms in place that could be used to mitigate against these types of attacks, he said. For instance, the user can set the options to limit what access to specific types of data a particular app can have. However, many smartphone users either don't know about the security risks, don't think the risks are serious, or don't know how to be more secure with their devices. A trend micro survey from last August found that only 23% of smartphone owners use the security software already installed in their device. It says app, uh, application uh, stores also need to do more uh, to vet the apps. She, uh, Shield said the same message, uh, Syriot, for the device. And uh, this thing right here says that, you know, they just don't use the security. Well, my security device for my cell phone is, well, I just take the, uh, this is me, I'm not reading this. <laughs> um, my security device for my cell phone is, I turn it off and I take the battery out. <laughs> so I don't have a crazy social life either, but I depend on email mostly. And so, uh, and those are tracked as well, but like I said, you, there's not much you can really do. You gotta be able to communicate with people, but yeah, so that's my security measure. I just pop the battery out and that way I'm ensuring that uh, no one can tap into it or trace it, right? GPS, because even if you have your battery in your cell phone, it can still be traced uh, via GPS like a little beacon and uh, they can tap into it even if the phone's turned off. So um, just a little tidbit of info there. In the meantime, BlackBerry users should be more cautious about what apps they download and what rights they give them. Users should not hit the I trust this app button, Shield says. This will give access to all your personal information. Users should go into the application security configuration within the BlackBerry options screen and tell it specifically what information the app can access or set it to prompt if the app tries to access certain data, which I think he's talking about automatically. The security models are inadequate because they, they trust by default, he added. Sandboxing techniques only protect one app from another app, not from accessing or uh, accessing user data. App stores give users a false sense of security. Shield says um, that he had contacted Research in Motion about the issue and the company's official comment was, quote, we won't make any comment on how the security of the App Center operates. Shields has also created a video demonstration of uh, his spyware. A Research in Motion representative provided this comment. Applications containing spyware cannot be installed on a BlackBerry smartphone without the user's explicit consent unless, of course, someone else gains physical possession of the user's device along with the knowledge of any enabled password. The spyware application cannot simply install itself uh, stealthily on the user's device. Further, uh, a user can review and confirm the list of installed apps on their device by looking in the options area at any time. So, there you go, everybody. Um, you know, you can kind of take this however way you want, but um, like I said, it's just another uh, tool. You know, it's nice to have goodies and technology and all that stuff, but uh, you know, could also be used to uh, could also be used against us. So, um, but thanks for uh, thanks for checking us out, and hopefully this uh, article helped you if you do own a BlackBerry. Uh, I know people that do, and um, so hopefully it gives you some more options to not get attacked by spyware. So, thanks.